Jermonte Davis has been frozen out and has nobody to fight. This coming from fight fans reflecting on what Turkey Alashik has done in the fights in the lightweight division. And the conclusion is Gervonta has no one to fight. Really? Let's talk about who he's going to fight next in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. Before I get into this video, I want to give you a little pop quiz. Who is Canelo Alvarez fighting next? The answer is Edgar Berlanga. Who did people think Canelo Alvarez was fighting next? Nobody knew. They wanted David Benavidez, but they didn't get it. Next question. Who is Shakur Stevenson fighting next? Shakur Stevenson is fighting Joe Cordina. Joe Cordina is not Gervonta Davis. Joe Cordina is a fight that not a lot of people want to see. So, in the case of Terrence Crawford, who did Terrence Crawford fight last? Oh, he fought Israel Madmarov. Who was asking to see that fight before that fight was made? Nobody. Why do I ask you these questions? Because it's amazing how often in boxing, when people speculate that no, somebody doesn't have anybody to fight, miraculously they pop up and fight somebody. Sometimes though, it may not necessarily be the fight that you want. In the case of Canelo Alvarez, it is not David Benavides. In the case of Shakur Stevenson, it is not Gervonta Davis. In the case of Terrence Crawford, it was not Canelo Alvarez. So, as we look at what people are saying about Gervonta Davis, which I find very, very interesting, keep that in mind. Because it seems to me that he has people to fight. Now, who will he fight is the question. Before I get into that, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. It makes a huge difference to the channel. So, fights for Gervonta Davis. Has Gervonta Davis been frozen out by Turkey Alashik because Turkey Alashik is making fights and DAZN is making fights with Shakur Stevenson, who's the WBC champion, and uh, the number one contender, I think, in all the sanctioned and bodies is William Zapata. So Turkey Alashik took Shakur Stevenson, William Zapata, and another guy named Joe Cordina and worked with Eddie Hearn to get a three fight, a two fight deal done where Shakur Stevenson fights these two guys back to back. So that means he froze out Gervonta Davis, right? No, you cannot freeze out the cash cow. Just doesn't work. You can surround them, but you can't freeze them out. First of all, you can't assume that Gervonta Davis is not going to be able to find somebody to fight at 135 pounds. Because there's a bunch of people in the ranking system. Now, speculation had been that he would fight Isak Cruz, who had been at 140, uh, was the WBA 140-pound champion, but Isak Cruz lost. So now there was a lot of speculation that Ray Valenzuela, who beat Isak Cruz, would be the person that Gervonta uh, Davis would fight next. But apparently... According to Robert Garcia, Rayo Valenzuela is not going to fight for the rest of this year. So what is Gervonta Davis going to do? He doesn't have Lomachenko. He doesn't have, assume that he does not have Beren, Berenicic, even though I think that that is a possibility as well. He's not going to fight Ray. Say he doesn't fight Rayo. Well, they will more than likely pull somebody from 130 pounds, maybe somebody from 140, and somebody in the top 10 of the lightweight division in a stay busy fight.
hopefully in the November time frame. And then turn around and he's going to be right back on with Vasily Lomachenko, provided Lomachenko doesn't do the same thing that he did the last time. So who is Gervonta going to fight? Gervonta is going to more than likely fight somebody you don't want to see him fight. But again, this is not a result of Tur anything Turkey Alashik is doing necessarily. It's just kind of part of boxing. One of the big misconceptions about the old days of boxing is that people never had fights like the one that we could be talking about, like the Edwin De Los Santos versus Gervonta Davis fight, even though somebody said Edwin De Los Santos won't be available to the end to after the end of this year as well. But there are other people that are in those weight classes. Take, for example, I'll use this example, the Floyd Schofield. If Gervonta Davis wanted to fight the number three guy in the WBA, he could fight Schof Floyd Schofield. Without a doubt, they would throw Floyd Schofield over there. And will Floyd? what kind of numbers would Floyd Schofield do with Gervonta? The same type of numbers that Frank Martin did. Because people asked Gervonta who Gervonta was going to be able, was, who was he going to be able to fight after uh, Ryan Garcia? Remember, Shakur Stevenson was a Devin Haney duck. Shakur Stevenson said slept, uh, snoozed everybody out in the fight with Edwin De Los Santos and then again with um, uh, Arthur, Arthur Hertumium. But then it was only when Lomachenko moved and fought somebody else that people said, oh, hold on, well, what about Shakur? Now we need to see the Shakur fight. Well, just do the same thing with somebody else and wait to the end of the year. Because Gervonta very well could wind up doing this, which would be, I think, be a fantastic move. If he is able to get just a, just a stay busy fight, uh, quick, let me get my 20 million, whatever he's getting, 10, 15 million dollars, whatever is amount of money he's getting paid by the Amazon deal that he has. And he said, I think it's an eight fight deal, seven, eight fight deal. So just get one of them done. And then you can be right back up, hopefully in, um, if he fights in November, what is that? December, January, February, March, March or April, March or April, you come right back and be with Vasily, fight Lomachenko. And if you get past Lomachenko, then you fight Shakur because that will line right up with after the Williams and Peta fight. So you have like a little three fight deal to get to uh, Gervonta and Shakur. Sh Shakur fights Joe Cordina, which is a, somebody I don't want to see. <laughs> Gervonta Davis fights somebody else that I'm not particularly interested in that particular fighter. Right. Then they move on to stiffer competition where you have Gervonta fight Lomachenko, Shakur fights a Peta. Then you can match up at the top with Gervonta Davis and Shakur Stevenson at the top. I think the only thing that may be hanging out there is Berenicek. And you know, whoever wins that fight can go clean up Berenicek if they get that fight or move forward. But there's a lot of different things that can take place for Gervonta Davis. And I just keep hearing all of this like every day. Well, who's he going to fight? Who's he going to fight? Oh, this one's gone. This one's gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. When you are the guy that can get guys career high paydays, somebody is going to fight you for sure. But even if you are that cash cow, even if you are that big guy, there are going to be fights that you have where it's not, you know, it's not a it's not a world uh, beater that you're going to beat that you're going to fight. But you stay busy, you stay active, you don't do what Errol did, which is be inactive in between the times he's getting the fights that he really wants. But that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.